Hello, hello, it's Old Twit Talks Cars. I'm back in the workshop with my Series 3 Land Rover 1983, 2.25 litre petrol in maroon blue with limestone stroke sandstone, I can't remember what they call it, wheels and hard top. Uh, I was going to show you a couple more things that we've been up to since we last spoke. So you may remember we were messing about with the fuel tank uh, and putting a new um, sensor in so that the fuel gauge was became more reliable because it's horrendously, or it was, horrendously unreliable. Uh, so that's working well. It was an easy job. Uh, what we did find, however, is um, now it's working, we've got absolutely no petrol. So when I tried to start this a minute ago, it basically is completely empty. So before I spin this up for you, another time I better get some fuel. So what I was going to do is show you some other things in here that we've been messing about with. So down there, um, we've replaced the rubbers on the clutch and the brake. We tried to get one on the accelerator, but it is a physical impossibility, so we threw it away in a strop. Um, this vehicle has got the ferry overdrive, which was hugely important in these on the road, so it increases your practical cruising speed from about 50 up to about 60, 65. Um, so it's important to have those if you're looking for one of these. Um, the uh, low ratio, high ratio and the four wheel drive selector have been um, fully lubed because uh, they were pretty stiff before but they are working well. Um, my super engineer son, um, we had a problem where the gear selector got stuck between two of the gates on the, um, uh, on the gearbox. Uh, and he created and, and um, made a new end for this. Um, he slightly changed the throw of it, so believe it or not, this is a slightly shorter throw than the normal one, which is hard to believe, isn't it? Because there's quite a lot of play in there. Um, but that's much better, more reliable now. Um, what else have we done in here? That's a new seat, I think I told you that last time. Um, we've added these uh, switches, so we've got some rear work lights and we've also got some internal lights. So we've got LEDs just hidden under there and some in the back as well. Um, so that just gives you, uh, throw some light onto the subject when uh, you need it. Um, so I think that's mostly it in here, around the back. Uh, we retrimmed these so these were the original seats were in here but they were um, in an awful state so basically we just retrim them in vinyl our spare sits in here uh, takes a bit of space out the back but obviously it can be mounted on the uh, back door or also on the bonnet um, we've got a nice mat in here so it's all pretty easy to uh, clean out so they're the work lights, we added those, there was one but I added another one just because it, I like symmetry. This was on here, um, I would love to take that off but frankly I can't be bothered. Open bottle here, mm, not while you're driving. Uh, so there she is, I'd like very much to spin her up for you because she runs as sweet as a nut. Uh, however, like I say, we appear to have no petrol. Um, so I'll have to get hold of a can when I'm not locked down and once I do that I'll spin her up for you so you can hear uh, that beautiful two and a quarter litre petrol humming like a hummingbird. Anyway that's it for now please uh, check out my blog on talkcars.com and I'll speak to you again soon.